2024 Republican candidates are sounding off about uh, the news of former President Trump's indictment. He was indicted on seven counts in the special counsel's classified documents probe. Joining us now for more is CBS News political director Finn Gomez. Uh, so, Finn, what can you tell us about what the candidates are saying and the impact on the race? Uh, good morning, Vlad and Anne Marie. Thank you for having me on. Uh, yeah, we've seen a wide array of reaction from the 2024 uh, Republican field to the Trump news uh, from uh, uh, from those who have essentially, like Ron DeSantis, his 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 closest rival in in polls, uh, came out uh, in response and criticized uh, the Biden administration for weaponizing uh, federal law enforcement. Uh, you've seen some of that reaction. Uh, but you've also seen uh, some on the other side of the field, uh, like Asa Hutchinson, uh, the former Arkansas governor, uh, who said that Trump should essentially uh, end his campaign because of this, uh, saying specifically, this reaffirms the need for Donald Trump to respect the office and end his campaign. We've also seen some criticism from Chris Christie that says that no one is above the law. Uh, and But again, there's been this, this, this array of reaction uh, uh, from uh, from from diff from this this ever growing field uh, to this news that will surely impact the race. Right now, though, Vlad, um, I spoke to several key uh, Republican strategists from his rival camps. Uh, they don't see this as a essentially as as the opening for them uh, to rise uh, against Donald Trump, who has been so uh, so such the early favorite, the the early front runner at this point in the race. Uh, but if you if you uh, ex the expectation is that with uh, the Fulton County investigation and the con the continuing saga of these investigations, that after we continue into the cycle, that it could wound uh, the former president politically, and that could become an opening down the line when Republican voters start to consider uh, whether this this Trump baggage and these Trump uh, this the, the these uh, the baggage from these investigations is just sent is essentially too much, uh, and, and they should maybe now consider another candidate. I think it's actually really interesting how the, the uh, other candidates are approaching this, right? Um, that right. They're, they're focusing on the process of the indictment rather than what he's actually accused of, being forced to kind of like thread the needle. And he's done this before to his opponents, where he puts them in a position where suddenly they find themselves defending him and, and, right. and, and repeating some of his lines or some of his messaging. And Ron DeSantis found himself in, in a very similar place. And then when he was asked outright if he would, if the former president was convicted, would he pardon him? Then he was like really dancing as fast as he could. Uh, can you just explain the rhetoric that we're hearing from these candidates? Uh, Emery, that's a great question. I think a part of this is that, you know, uh, right now, there's the expectation, uh, again, speaking to several uh, advisors from the different campaigns uh, uh, not aligned with Trump, that, there, that this is something that uh, will have an impact on Trump, perhaps, but not right away. Mm. The initial response by the Republican base will be, frankly, support. We saw that with the Manhattan DEA case. We saw that with previous ones. If you recall, uh, during the Mar-a-Lago uh, FBI search, during the, during the beginning of this process, uh, his numbers actually went up. So there's, there is that expectation. If you look at recent polling, there was a recent Yahoo YouGov poll that essentially showed that the majority, almost the, about 46 percent of those polled, uh, of those Republicans polled, said that this does not knock out Donald Trump uh, from mm. uh, consideration to the nomination. So they see that. Uh, and, and, and at the same time, they need to appeal to those uh, pro-Trump voters in case there does come uh, a time down the line where uh, they start considering someone else, potentially. Mm -hmm. Uh, uh, the former president, Finn, is expected to speak at conventions in North Carolina and Georgia this weekend. Uh, how do you think he's, I mean, it's, Donald Trump is not the most, the world's most complicated individual, right? I mean, uh, the question there is how will he address the charges to potential voters? I mean, you and I could probably write the script, Anne Marie, too. It's a hoax, <laughs> hoax. witch hunt. Yes, exactly. Uh, yeah, he couldn't believe this could ever happen yes. yeah. to a president who got more votes than any other sitting president in history. Said, I can declassify with I, my with mind. With my mind. I yeah. mean, there's a, there's a pick from the greatest hits. <laughs> 
No, exactly. And if if they, if this was like a drinking game over some of those key <laughs> phrases, you'd probably get pretty tipsy by the end of the speech. But yeah, I mean that's I mean frankly that's that's the expectation. I did talk to some uh, sources close to the Trump campaign who say that you know Trump is expected to uh, reference uh, uh, these uh, this investigation and in, in, in the in the latest news, the, the 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 indictments in this case. And you know as we all have seen before, you know he comes out and he comes out uh, pretty strongly out of the gate. And that is the expectation that these two events that he's speaking, um, it, it is, all, like, as mentioned, is the Georgia State GOP convention and also the North Carolina uh, State GOP, GOP convention, both uh, crucial states. Uh, Georgia, of course, um, is and, and North Carolina are both uh, essentially purple states, battleground states. Uh, and so it's it's very key. And, and frankly, the, the whole political world will be watching. Many Republican voters will be watching to see what he says. But we do expect him to direct address uh, these uh, these indictments, Vlad and Marie. Ben Gomez, thank you very much. Thanks, guys.